So now we're, we're using the solar system programmable controller. And now we'd like to discuss some strategies we'd like to suggest and how light spectrum affects plant growth. Obviously, this is a complex subject. It varies by strain. There's a lot of different strategies out there, but here's some basic information that'll help you set up your own programs. First of all, uh, let's just go to manual. We'll go override. Now I'm in total manual mode. So first off, there's an important difference between the ratio of red to blue. The higher the ratio of red, if we went to 100% here, this is 100% on everything. The higher the ratio of the red to the blue, the more stretching you get. Red induces stretching of plants. The higher, so if we back off the red, you will get less stretching. The higher the ratio of blue, the less stretching you get, the more bushy vegetative growth. The shorter the spaces between the nodes. Higher ratio of red, the longer the spaces between the nodes. Now, most people in veg would rather have a higher ratio of blue, so your plants are uh, bushier, shorter, and with more, less space between the nodes. Uh, then once you shift over to bloom, the high red the, will make the plant want to stretch as it goes into flower. Now, in some cases, you may want to have more red in veg to get uh, more height in your plants or more stretch, but that strategy is totally up to you as long as you understand higher ratio of red means taller stretched out plants, higher ratio of blue means bushier, less spacing between the nodes. And that is the basic difference between veg and bloom modes. And this is very powerful. You'll see the plant reacts to it very quickly. Now, another strategy which we've built into this, if we look at if we go into setup and we look at edit programs, edit steps, sunrise, sunset. There's a lot of data suggesting that a soft ramp up of the lights and a soft ramping down of the lights is healthier for the plant. It gives them less stress in shifting from dark to light and vice versa. That period can be from five to 15, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, there's, there again, there's no clear cut answer other than sunset sunrise is better than all on at once, all off at once. Here you have the ability to program whatever interval you want. Next, mostly through bloom, red, especially deep red, 660 nanohertz, that is where you get your yield, heavy deep red. What you don't want is a lot of blue. So deep red is essential through most of bloom to get yield. It's the ratio between red and blue which determines yield. A higher ratio, a higher level of blue, even though there's more light, might give you less yield. So in this case, less is more. Less blue light, more red, better yield. This is why HPS is strong in, in bloom. It's a high ratio of red, a relatively low ratio of blue. However, your final week or possibly two weeks of flower, when most of your yield is attained, some growers like to back off the level of red in a final finishing mode and push the level of blues back up. This helps develop terpenes, it helps develop smells, it helps in resin development. There are also strategies about the light period. Uh, most growers using a, a fixed spectrum light are doing 18.6 for a number of weeks, then switching all at once to 12.12. There, with this controller, instead of going bang on and bang, switch over to 12.12, you can do a gentle ramp between veg and bloom by adding a pre-flower stage or even several pre-flower stages where the Daytime is shrinking, the dark period is slowly increasing. So by the point you finally get to 12-12, your plant is fully shifted over to bloom rather than doing it one by one. So you can set up different steps, early flower, fl uh, early veg, veg, pre-flower, then into bloom, then final finishing, all by programming the spectrum and the uh, dark period. 
It takes a few minutes to set up. You can run it automatically. It's very powerful. It allows you to mimic the sun and the way plants have evolved in nature. There are a few other strategies which are also incorporated into the solar system series. And one of them is far red. Now, far red is 730 nanometers, which are not included in the regular lights. And it's not included in most all grow lights because there is no photosynthesis in deep red at that, at that level. However, 730 nanometers far red controls the plant switching from daytime to nighttime mode. It measures the ratio of deep red, which is in, included in most grow lights, which is 660 nanometers, measures the ratio between 660 and far red, which is 730. When the ratio of far red is more than deep red, the plant uh, triggers its nighttime mode. Now in normal, when the sun goes down, this takes about two hours for the plant to shift over to nighttime mode and the metabolism it does at night. By shining far red for 10 minutes at the end of the light cycle and 10 minutes after the light cycle is over, you can flip the plants almost immediately into their nighttime mode. This way it's possible to only have a 10 hour dark period rather than 12 without the plants reverting to veg. Therefore, you could theoretically flower 14 on and 10 off. You can also shorten the total number of days that you're in flower by the same logic. One final light strategy, which is fairly wide, widely known, is UVB. UVB triggers higher THC levels, especially in the last two weeks of bloom. It's a protective mechanism that only cannabis has evolved to protect its reproductive cycle. When it senses certain levels of UVB in the final stages of bloom, it emits a chemical which actually coats the trichomes as a protective filter against UVB. This protective chemical is THC. So you can actually boost THC levels by using supplemental UVB, and that's something we also offer in the Solar System Series. So, there are a lot of different uh, spectrum strategies. If you do a little research on this, there's quite a bit of knowledge out there. And you can use this controller to dial in any of these various strategies to get better yield, to get higher THC, to get better resin development, to control the length of your plants, to control spacing between the nodes, to put them to sleep faster for better all around metabolism. So it's really a powerful tool or you can just have it do a very simple veg bloom modes and with a very relatively inexpensive timer and programmer.